हाय दिस इज राजा केतकर वेलकम टू सेवन राउंड इंफरटेनमेंट आर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन डिक्लेयर द बजेट टुडे ऑन फर्स्ट फेब 2023 फाइव मेजर अनाउंसमेंट्स वर मेड फॉर द मिडिल क्लास विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पर्सनल इनकम टैक्स दीज अनाउंसमेंट्स फ्रॉम इनकम टैक्स रिबेट टू लीव एंड कैशमेंट एग्जेम्शन विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट द मिडिल क्लास द बजट ऑल्सो डिक्लेयर दैट द न्यू टैक्स रेजीम will be the default tax regime for all however people may avail the benefits of the old tax regime as well that is optional let's have a look at this five major announcements it was proposed in the budget to increase the income tax rebate limit by 2 lakhs currently it is 5 lakhs it would be increased to 7 lakhs so any person need not pay any tax for an income up to be 7 lakhs and at present a person having an income of up to rupees 5 lakhs is exempt from paying any income tax according to the old tax regime and according to the new tax regime this limit will be 7 lakhs the government proposed a change in the new tax regime structure by reducing the number of slabs to 5 and by increasing the tax exemption limit to 3 lakh rupees previously it was 2.5 lakhs so any person having an income of up to rupees 3 lakhs need not pay any income tax for income between rupees 3 and rupees 6 lakhs the tax would be 5% for income between rupees 6 and rupees 9 lakhs it would be 10% income between rupees 9 lakhs and 12 lakhs will be taxed at 15% income between 12 lakhs and 15 lakhs to be taxed at 20% and income above rupees 15 lakhs to be taxed at 30% This will provide a major relief to the taxpayers. Budget also declared a major benefit for the salaried class and the pensioners. Nirmala Sitharaman proposed to extend the benefit of the standard deduction to the new tax regime. So any person having an income of up to rupees fifteen point five lakhs or more will thus stand to benefit by rupees fifty two thousand five hundred. The finance minister also proposed to reduce the highest surcharge from 37% to 25% for income above rupees 2 crores. With this the maximum tax rate will reduce to 39% from the current 42.74% which is amongst the highest in the world. However, no change in surcharge is proposed for people who are opting for the old tax regime. The budget also proposed the extension of the tax exemption limit on leave and cashment to rupees 25 lakhs on retirement for the non government salaried employees in line with the government salaried employees at present this tax exemption limit is just 3 lakh rupees so friends this seems to be a populist budget providing major relief to the taxpayers if you like this video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you